So today I just wanted to give you a quick look at our charging setup for the BMW Active E. What we're looking at here is the uh, official BMW Aero Environment Level 2 charger. Now to the left, uh, what Will did, he, he's one of two company installers here in the Southern California area. He said some areas do require to have a breaker uh, next to the charger if the actual panel itself is not on the same wall. And in my case, my EV panel is on the opposite side, which will pop out there and take a look now. So all that does, that's just one extra breaker that I could quickly open and shut that off if there was any kind of problem instead of going outside and shutting it down from the panel. So he wasn't sure if I needed it, but just to be safe. And in my case, since BMW was paying for it, I said, go for it. All right, let's step outside and see what it looks like outside. Okay, so what we have here on the right, which surprisingly is a lot larger, is the EV charger panel with its own separate meter. I'm with Southern California Edison using the time of use, uh, which allows me to pay 12 cents per kilowatt hour. That includes all the taxes and everything here in the Los Angeles, California area. And then here right to the left is the house panel. Now you may be asking, why is that sticking out past the side of the house? That looks terrible. Well, in my particular case, because of the way the house was built, they, they offered to do a, a flush mount, but the 2x4s uh, and various things in the wall in that area didn't allow it. Now, they also offered to move it down farther as well, but in my case, I just wanted to keep them close together. There's not a whole lot happening on this side of the house anyway, so I decided to uh, just have it stick out like that. And what's neat about this meter is every morning, I can come out and see how many kilowatt hours that I used the day before to charge the car. Like right there coming up it's going to give me this number like right there 14,406. That's obviously not how many I used since last night but that's just the uh, next highest number and then I just subtract that from yesterday's number and then I can easily find out how many kilowatt hours the car is using. So that's the look there. I'll back up just a little bit to give you a little bit of a perspective from the side. And there we are. It's been working great. And uh, I'm really happy with the time of use meter here in Long Beach.